So what I see is uh, when my mouse is on the floor, it's a green dot. When I put it up on the wall, it's a white dot. Mm -hmm. um, and when it's a green dot, uh, what does the green dot mean? Bruce? So that means that you are able to teleport somewhere. So if you were to hold down your uh, left click, the regular click there, uh, means that you're going to be able to teleport to a, like a flat surface or a surface of relatively flat. Okay. That around. And I see a, a basically an avatar type image of where I would end up. Mm -hmm. A preview. And a preview. you let that go and phew, you will be there. Okay. Is that the, um, the best way to to turn my body? Uh, to turn your body, uh, it's actually uh, the horizontal scroll on the mouse. Uh, the mice that we have, you can get the scroll wheel and kind of tilt it to the right or the left. So you can just take the whole scroll wheel and, and like nudge it over. And uh, that'll do like kind of a uh, comfort mode for now. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's a new controller I've never seen before. I've never seen a scroll wheel where you can actually maneuver it left and right. Yeah, I have a few mice that have that feature. Uh, it's, it's basically, you know, functionally mouse button three and mouse button four. Uh, but uh, since we got those mice and we can control the demo, we decided, hey, let's go ahead and do that uh, okay. and, and try to get everything on the mouse. That actually works pretty well. That's, that's a pretty comfortable way to navigate. Yeah, we found it was uh, it, it works out. Now if we can only get everyone to get that type of mouse, we'll be set. <laughs> Uh, and basically wherever I can look, wherever my dot turns green, I can sort of teleport to. Exactly. And, and the thing right now, if you're kind of, if it's something above you, even though it's flat, you won't be able to exactly teleport there. Right. Um, but uh, so you have to be kind of look, being able to look across or down at it to be able to teleport to that spot. Okay. So I, I'm using a, a, I'm using a combination of uh, the comfort mode turning and teleporting to get around in this world. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, okay, I, so I do get used to the teleporting around pretty quickly. It's it's pretty quick to to navigate the space. Certainly easier than, than having to walk forward. Okay, that's nice. Okay. Uh, so I am in uh, the office. Yes. Okay. So this is a space kind of uh, intentionally designed for a single user to be in there, just kind of you know chill out, enjoy the view, and then bring up their personal displays and maybe you know do whatever they would like to do. Uh, so to bring up your personal display is a right click. Uh, should have an action bar that gives you some choices there. Right. So I'm seeing a little bar on the left hand side. It says Wednesday, 3:55 p.m. And mm -hmm. there's an orange uh, dot next to that. Uh, that represents your avatar and what color he or she is. Okay. Um, right now we have rob robots of different colors. You can click on that and get kind of a placeholder of uh, you know, different like profile information. Um, okay. So it pops up, cinematic. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, I have 70 karma, which is always good. Oh yeah. I have a lot of friends in this virtual world, so I've, I see a pop-up, and it's it's a translucent pop-up. Looks really nice, actually. Yeah, we found that transparency. Uh, it not only looks very nice and very polished, but it also keeps you from feeling cut off from the environment. Um, so you have this big window that's popping up in front of you. And you want to feel connected to what's going on, again, in the social type of atmosphere. If other people are running around the space, you want to be able to use your displays and still get a sense of what's going on um, around you. And I'm getting audio feedback when I hover over something that I can action on. Yes. So when I, when I put my mouse over close, I get a little, I get a little notice. Same mm -hmm. with, uh, I have 127 friends. I suppose that would take me to my friends list. Mm -hmm. uh, 13 items. Items would be to-dos and whatnot and 74 favorites. Okay. Yeah, so again, placeholder stuff, but kind of where we're looking at going with that kind of your profile and, and what you can do and uh, getting to that discover and, and navigation, uh, kind of this is kind of the early stages of what that might look like. Okay, yeah, it's nice. Looks really sharp. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, yeah, right click on the um, screen mm -hmm. and then uh, I, I get my bar here, yeah. and then if I want to launch something, there's a little world icon, global mm -hmm. icon, and would that be it? That'll bring up your browsers. Okay. Uh, so it'll have uh, three of them at this point. Right now, these browsers are static, uh, and they're just kind of uh, you know, surrounding you. That's our home page, kind of translucent, gives a lot of little things to click on there. Um, and then I can have three. If you want to put something totally different up on that one, good. Cartoon Network action. It's pretty zippy too. Yeah. 
And then with one click, I can make it all go away. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any any other uh, activities in the office? Uh, at the current time, uh, no. It's just kind of uh, static right now. Okay. Um, so it's uh, you know pulling up the browser, you can play around with different things, do different things, um, and uh, it's kind of minimalist intentionally. Uh, that way, you eventually want to get users to the point where they're customizing some of these things themselves, uh, like the pictures on the wall would ultimately be displays that you can beam stuff to and customize uh, with your own touch on uh, on your on your space. Okay, it's a very comfortable space. Like it's it's a very nice looking area. You guys did a good job here. Thank you. Down to the big screen. Mm -hmm. And how do I how do I interact with the big screen first? To interact with the big screen, uh, you actually have to open your personal displays first and decide what you want to send to the big screen. Um, so if you go to your personal displays, open up the browser, and uh, if you click on home, there, there we go, and then say go to YouTube. And we load up a, a video, if you select a, a video, and it could be any, any video just off the front page there. Okay. Um, I mean, it's playing an ad, maybe we want to skip the ad first. <laughs> And it's uh, you start the video. Once that video starts playing, you can press the beam button. It's uh, right next to the URL bar down there, um, to the right of home. This one? Uh huh. Can you see? That's the one. I'm looking right at it. There you go. And that'll automatically full screen that YouTube video and I see. Uh, and uh, spit it over to the the public display where everyone can see what's going on. Until the audio fades out, the further I get from the screen also. That is correct. Yeah, volume attenuation, so the closer you are to the screen, uh, the louder it will get. So this is a big social space. We want to be able to have people be up on the balcony or in the office and be able to carry a conversation, um, even while some other people are down here watching a movie on the big screen. And how many people have you had in the same space so far? So far, uh, we've got to about eight people uh, at the same time, and it ran butter smooth. Uh, so that's part of the reason why we'll be doing the beta, kind of push that and, and test those limits uh, and for scalability. And if I hold down the middle button, it actually starts to walk forward. That's correct, and it'll and walk wherever you look. And it walks wherever I look, right? Okay. Uh, these other uh, icons on my, what do you call this, Bruce? The uh, action ones? bar. Action yeah. bar. We're going to the action bar for the time being. Okay. Um, on the far right, that's just kind of a, a list uh, showing you everyone that's in the room with you at the current time. Okay. Which you are uh, all by yourself there. <laughs> uh, and then the uh, one right there that will teleport you to our other space that we uh, have constructed, right. the tea garden. It's like someone already beamed something beforehand, something's playing there. <laughs> this is also a space we want to have plenty of, uh, of places where different types of activities can happen. Uh, so we have like the big screen outside, there's like a, uh, if you go around, there's some stairs to go up uh, where you can experience some different things. We have a little, uh, uh, I think you're right there in the rock garden right there. So uh, we want to have some functionality, kind of draw some shapes there. It could be nice and relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, there's a room here. There we go. <laughs> uh, so that would be a pretty cool, kind of a more relaxing environment, meditative. <laughs>